Uh, good day, guys. Uh, I'm over at the Antrac lathe today. A bit of threading to do, and I thought I'd show a, a simple and easy way of threading to a shoulder without needing to run out groove and without any uh, chance of crashing into that shoulder. Um, I'm actually making D14 pins. Um, I'm nearly finished, just threading them. So I'll move the camera around to the lathe and show you my setup and you'll see how, how I can do this at high speed without a CNC machine without any chance of crashing and without any run out groove. Okay, so here's my setup. I've got my piece and collet chuck. I'm using an internal threading bar. I've got that set out from the tool post only a very short distance as it is being used as my stop. I can bring the side of the um, tool holder up to the end of the bar and that gives me my distance. Why I'm threading this, I'm using, I'm threading this in reverse. Um, this only really works if you're using threading a pitch that's native to your lead screw. You really need to be able to disengage and engage the half nuts to do this. So um, this is a, a 24 TPI imperial thread. I, I've got an imperial lead screw so I can engage and disengage the half nuts. Um, if you're doing metric, it doesn't work so well because you can't just position your tool back in the right spot again using the lead screw and reversing your lathe so you're better off doing it the old old fashioned way I guess with a run out groove like that. Anyway, I'll um I'll set up and do this one from this angle and I'll do another one from um another camera angle, see what see what I'm doing. I'm plunging straight in with this. It's only twenty four TPI so it's not a big um not a big cut. And um yeah we'll set up and we'll uh we'll cut it. I'm doing uh, four hundred RPM. I could probably go a bit faster but um quite happy with that so one thing to make sure is you put your lathe in reverse you try and do this obviously in forwards doesn't work now just to keep in mind we still have the lead screw running the correct direction as if you're not threading a normal thread from right to left we're not creating a left hand thread by running a lathe carriage from left to right because we're cutting on the back of the job I mean, you can also actually do it with a tool set up upside down at the front, but I find visibility is better with it at the back. So I'm doing this at three cuts, uh, metric graduation. So I'm starting off with a, a half a millimetre depth of cut, half nuts engaged, disengaged, back in, go to 0.75. Half nuts again, nice and quick. I'm getting a really good finish because of the, the surface speeds up there. And then a nice fine couple of, couple of foul finishing cut. Too busy talking, I'm not concentrating. All right. And from there, quick file. And we should have a little test piece here just to make sure, but there we go. It's a beautiful, it's a nice firm, so it's probably tighter than I'd normally do for a for a standard thread. There's about um, about a thou clearance over wires on that, and um, really nice, quick and easy. As I say, no chance of crashing into the, the shoulder. I'll set up the camera on the lathe and um, let you see it from another angle. Okay, so here we are looking down from the top. I really should um, make a mount up to fit on my mag base like Adam has. This one doesn't sit here very well, but one of those magnetic tripods, it's not too bad. Anyway, in reverse, just coming up, touching off on that uh, tool post. First cut. Second cut. And finally finishing cut. So finishing cut's a couple of hour. I haven't worried about a spring cut. I've got the right size. Simply using that finishing cut. If I went to a spring cut, it'd probably end up undersized, so 
more than happy to leave it like that. Got a nice new insert in there, so it's, um, it's cutting really nicely, but there you go. Um, another thread, to like say, with no risk at all of crashing into it. No risk of crashing into the uh, into that shoulder, and it just um, obviously starts with a a groove, and then runs from there. So um, really nice, easy way of threading, especially if you've got multiple parts like this. I could probably do these with a die, but I don't have a, a three eight twenty four die, so um, I figure I'd, a single point. I've only got twenty four to do, so um, makes it nice and easy. Like I say, without um, there are some lathes. I mentioned this before, some lathes, um, Monarch, Monarchs for instance, I believe not a 10 AE, but the, the larger Monarchs, uh, the larger of the Holbrooks, not my C10 unfortunately, um, Hendy's, probably a few others that have uh, a single tooth dog clutch, um, instantly reversible lead screw, um, which you can set a, a stop for and um, thread up to a point, hit your stop, disengage your lead screw and you can pick up the same spot again because a dog clutch um, can only be engaged in one spot and it runs at the same one-to-one -one with a spindle but um, if, if you're like me and you don't have that on your lathe which most most people won't I think that's a really good way of um, threading to a shoulder if you're only doing one or two it might not be worth the setup if you're doing a lot it certainly is anyway go through and finish the rest of these and uh, thanks for watching